We've just come back from the doctors and we've got our test results from our blood tests, our blood sucking that we had last week. And it's generally pretty good. We do both have to go and have another test just to just to check on some stuff. Hmm. I may have a genetic defect. That's yeah, the main thing. Correct. My iron level is slightly high. Too much spinach and the meat. <laughs> Could be caused because Yuko <laughs> gives me too much spinach. <laughs> <laughs> or I may have a genetic defect, mm -hmm. which will cause me to turn orange and die. Mm -hmm. But it's easily treated if I do. If I do have that defect, they'll just uh, they'll just give me some treatment to reduce my iron level, which well, is basically just they get, every now and then they give you a bit of mm -hmm. blood. But if I don't have the gene, then it doesn't matter. It's all right. It's only a little bit high. I'm on my way tonight to Lynn Observatory. We're having an observing session. This was a session that was scheduled at short notice. I'm just going to take the turn off now. This is the turn off from the Great Western Highway to Linden. If you don't know the turn off, you could easily miss it. Yes, this uh, session. Well, we, we were supposed to have a session on Saturday, but uh, the weather conditions were terrible. The session was cancelled because of the wind, mainly. You can't really use the big telescope in uh, windy conditions because it gets blown around and uh, it wouldn't be very pleasant anyway, even without that. Now tonight, tonight we may not be using the big telescope again um, because there may not be two uh, certified members present who can operate it. The rules are you have to have two of the, uh, of the members who are certified. Um, but we might, I don't know. You never know. You never know who's there. Now this is uh, just the residential area of Linden. To get from the highway to the observatory it's about two kilometers first through this residential area of Linden. It's a very small town and uh, the last hundred meters or so is uh, through bushy land. Okay, here's the bushy part. We're now in bushland, but it's only a short section of road. And you come up here to the end, and there's a gate right in front of us. But we don't go through there, we go to the right here, and we go down a driveway. This is the entrance to the Linden Sight. One of our members lives in that house on the left, so he's on site quite a lot. I can see his, his telescope is out. I've got my telescope set up. There it is. And uh, the moon is up there. And it's magnificent conditions. The moon looks very good. I'll see if I can get a shot of it with the camera. I'm on my way home now from uh, observing it's only about 8.30, I, uh, I got too cold and I decided to leave. Yeah, it was a bit cold, even though I had a lot of clothes on. Still cold. But I had about 
three hours of uh, observing. There were only three of us there. One guy was doing uh, photography, another guy was uh, doing visual observing. We were not using the big telescope because uh, we didn't have any members there who, uh, who could operate it. So uh, we just used our own telescopes. And uh, I had a good night. It was very good conditions. Saturn looked damn good. I got some good pictures of it actually through the, uh, or with the, with the video camera. Well, there you have it. Observing. <laughs>